YouTube welcome back today we have a different type of video today I will be using dip powders from the company double dip nails here I just went on their website so you guys can see the variety of different kits that they offer some of them are themed so it's easier for you to pick out exactly what you want or what colors best fit your needs what I like most about the company is it's small it's female owned and their products are cruelty vegan free can't get any better than that so hopping right in I just clicked on the pastel collection just so you can see everything that comes inside of the collection to give you a look at what the website looks like here I'm gonna just show you what they sent me I do have a discount code the discount code is buy by shy shy 10 so save yourself some money when you go on their site just hopping right in, I noticed that they did give me a bag. You guys know I love holographic things, so this is cute. And I got a headband. I like the holographic bag in case I wanted to travel with these dip powders. I can just throw everything in those bags that they sent to and me. I noticed I right off some the butterflies here. And here is the instructions. The instructions were very easy to read. And here is a brush that you would use just to help you get rid of the powder off of the nails and here I have some glitter hearts these are so cute I didn't get a chance to use them in this video but I will be using them another time also three swatch with sticks was included I like this just because it gives you a chance to go in and play with the dip powders before you actually use them on your nail they did let me pick out some colors that I was interested in and you guys know I had to go for the pink and nude shades and I wanted a pop of bright so that's what they sent me and these colors are very 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 pretty also the packaging was legit nothing was spilt out of the bags here I'm just going to show you guys it does come with a buffer a fowler some extra brush sticks a cuticle pusher and here if you scan this you can get a free gift and here is the Instagram information you want to follow them at double dip nails what I was most excited about is everything is color coded I can't tell you how many times I was trying to do my dip nails before when I had that other kit and it was just like a hot mess because I'm a beginner at dip nails and this right here made it very easy so the first step I will be going in with the base liquid and this is after you file and buff and push your cuticles back this next step is optional i went in with a clear powder just to even out my nails some but you do not have to do this so if you don't have clear powder at home you can just make sure you really file your nails the best you can to get a smooth application so that's what i'm doing here and tap 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 brushing 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 I'm not gonna lie I have the instructions on my table right there because I'm actually using them I wanted to see how easy this process would be because when I was reading up on the company they take pride in being able to provide dip powders that are easy to do at home and they provide a salon style type of nail for regular old folks that just want to do their nails at home so i wanted to see if it upheld to that i will give a spoiler alert i did this video about a week ago and i still have these nails on with no problem you cannot tell me i don't have on acrylic nails these are very sturdy and yeah i am going to do another video using these very same powders but y'all know i like long nails so i'm going to do them with my long nails i initially went in with short nails just because i didn't know what to expect from the product i didn't know it was such good quality i thought i was going to be like you know some little flimsy nails but that is not the case at all so what i did here after i applied that clear application i just went in with the base again and i held my jar almost at like a 45 degree angle just so that i can stick my nail in there and then when i brought it out i brushed it off i should have waited it says to wait about 30 seconds before you brush the powder off to give the bond and the powder enough time to marinate and become one so i did go in and do each nail twice here you see me dipping it back in everything is trial and error but after this first nail i sort of figured out what i wanted to do moving forward to make the application process easier for me 
during this time has a little bit of bumps and ridges in it that's why it comes with a file and a buffer you can go in and smooth that right out so now on this next step I do this repeat the same thing but I believe on this nail here I don't go right in and sweep it off I just tap it and then I leave the powder on there and I move on to the very next nail adding the bond and then dipping it in to the pink dip powder and then I'll go back to the pointer finger and sweep off the powder that way like I said the powder and the bond get a chance to marinate and bond together and become one in the application process I believe like this was a lot easier and you do see me double back because like I said I did two layers of this process just to thicken the nail up some and you really don't need any more than that I could have got away with probably doing one but I really wanted that pink color to be opaque because like I said I knew I was going to be wearing these nails for a while because I wanted to see if they really did last or was this something I was going to use and not ever touch it again so if you're looking to do your nails at home if the pandemic didn't teach us nothing we need to get ready stay ready so when the time come we're not out here looking crazy i totally would use this kit again and i was thinking i want to incorporate dip powders on my channel more frequently because i struggle to do my non-dominant hand which is my left hand and maybe i would do application of acrylic on my right hand and then we would do videos with dip powder on my left let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comment section so here like I said, you guys see me do all the other fingers where I dip and then I go back in and sweep the powder off the previous nail. And right now I'm just looking at them. I'm like, I'm in awe. I went for like some soccer mom short nails because like I said, I was not sure how this product was going to work. It is amazing quality. If you already do dip nails at home or yourself, I highly suggest you check these kits out. As you saw when I scrolled on there website they have a variety of colors and different themes so here i'm just going in and apply applying my last pinky finger my last pinky finger here i'm just going in and applying my last finger into the dip powder and i'm sweeping off their previous color look how nice they look without me even going in and shaping some nails like the pinky and the um thumbnail do have a little bit of bumps on them but that was trial and error in the beginning of me starting out but as you will see coming up that that smooths right out very easily so the yellow tube is what hardens the nails like you can't move forward without adding the yellow tube the yellow tube is the activator and what I'm doing is just going in and brushing it on like you would a top coat a gel polish or anything same thing very easy process this next step and as you can see my instructions are dead in my hand because not in my hand they're right on the table because i needed them so you saw me tapping with the file i just was making sure that the nails were hard before i went in and started to file and if you do not have a electric drill at home no need to worry i did everything with a hand file and a buffer and it was easy peasy there was no really harsh drilling that I had to do everything filed out really smooth for me and I kept all of this in the clip here so that you can see how it looks that is beautiful that nail is actually ready for whatever I want to do with it I did speed up the process of the next four fingers just because if you've seen one you've seen them all and I didn't want us to sit here all day watching me file because, believe it or not, filing is like the most boring part of a nail tutorial, in my opinion. So now I'm just going in with the little block buffer that they give you in the kit to buff your nails. These buffers here are phenomenal. And y'all see me tapping it on my nail table. I cannot believe that these nails were giving off acrylic nails. Like they were very sturdy if I would have went in with a third layer, I think it would have been too much. You, you don't need a third layer. Two layers are good. Here, the green bottle is brush cleaner. So in the event your brush gets a little color on it, you can dip it in there and clean it on a, a, a wimp. A wimp. You can clean it on a lint-free wipe. Y'all know when I'm doing voiceovers, 
I cannot talk for some reason. But here I'm going in with the blue top and the blue top is the clear top coat. This is not a gel top coat. So you don't need a lamp for it to dry. I went in with two layers of the top coat and the all I needed to do was let this air dry for like 30 to 60 seconds each each layer and this worked out pretty fine. So here I'm just admiring how pretty the nails are, how vibrant and pretty this pink color is. And yeah, they did send the butterflies that I showed you in the beginning and they reflect a little. So I wanted to pop them on some of the nails just to give them a little bit of pizzazz. Even though I could have kept them plain, but you guys know I love designs. It was taking everything in me not to bling out my nails. So I did leave my ring finger plain and instead of blinging it out because I know people don't normally have rhinestones at home but or they don't know how to apply them so I figured why not use a spider gel because it's something you can totally do at home so of course I reached and I pulled out my born pretty spider gel and I'm going to add them to the nail very easy application you can't mess this up this is very easy I'm just going for a back and forth design and then when I'm done I just rotate the back and forth instead of doing it from the same side I start at the bottom and go back up just to create a cross effect very easy you can totally do this at home I do have a discount code for double dip nails it will be down below and I also have a discount code for born pretty that will be down below so now that you guys know that I am totally loving this kit, we will be using it again. Let me know down below which color I should use next that you saw in the kit. We have that pink, the lighter pink color, and we have a nude and an orange. So it was just an overall recap. These nails came out beautiful. You can see for yourself that it is nail salon quality. Everything was really sleek. The packaging, I love it. You will definitely see these again on my channel. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and check me out in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.